This rare beauty is Lady G, a Horizon 62, 2006. Equipped with bow and stern thruster, satellite TV, water maker, and a new Boston Whaler 11 foot sport tender. The soft goods were refit in 2019 on both the interior and the exterior to include the bridge, the bow, even the covers. She's had new teak decking put down and the non-skid has been freshly repainted. So join me as I give you a personal and in-depth walkthrough on the one-of-a-kind Lady G. Horizon Yachts is the quiet giant in the yachting industry. Interesting enough, they're the fifth largest global custom luxury yacht builder that's been building since 1987. And you can see why this E-Series has been their longest and most popular running series to date. The E-Series has those classic Americana motor yacht lines that everyone loves to love. The owner has a relentless maintenance schedule that always has her standing tall. In all the years I've known this boat, I've never seen the hull in need of wax or when the stainless steel didn't shine bright. When approaching her from the dock, this boat states, prepare to be impressed. Let's start the tour at one of the boat's more likely boarding points, which is this large teak swim platform. It's surrounded by five removable stainless steel deck guards that have dedicated storage. Simply remove the center guard for access to the swim ladder. And when doing so, you can safely and securely store it here. Leave the remainder guards in place for the comfort and safety of your guests as they move about between the cockpit and the swim platform via the port and starboard steps. Or if you'd like, you can remove all of them to have broader access for easier boarding while getting on and off the dinghy. The swim platform is also where you'll find the waterproof bulkhead door that leads down to the laundry lazarette. Originally slated for a crew quarters, this space can easily be converted back. The current owner customized it to meet his needs since he operates the boat himself. It's a great space to perform not only housekeeping chores, but has ample storage for room of excess provisions, it hosts a chest freezer, and even an additional wine cooler. Stepping up into the cockpit with me, you'll notice the centerpiece, this large, beautiful custom teak table that even has a high-low feature. It's great for casual dining or evening entertaining. The molded-in bench seat across the transom has ample space for four or more. And the cockpit overall has plenty of room to host all your guests, no matter how many were invited or decide to show up. One of the many great upgrades of Lady G is this cockpit docking station. Packed into this little space are the start and stop switches, throttles and gears control, bow and stern thruster, and the VHF ram mic. And the icing on the cake is, when not in use, this contoured and hinged door tucks it discreetly out of the way. It sure makes it easy to put her back in her slip at the end of the day. Moving onward and upward, we reach the bridge. This is where we really start to see those beautiful results of the 2019 refit, which included all new soft goods on the interior and of course the exterior. The bridge deck on Lady G delivers so much more than expected of any other yacht in her size and class. First and foremost, note that she stores easily the Boston Whaler center console dinghy without encumbering any other use of the space. Secondly, note this one of four seating areas on the bridge. Its exaggerated depth makes it super comfy to hang out on. Plus, it encompasses the centerline table by a full 180 degrees offering seating for everyone. And third, that round centerline table has a secondary purpose. It can crank down flush with the seating area turning the entire space into a lounger. Last but certainly not least, notice the acrylic hatch cover that covers the stairs coming up to the bridge. This, along with the oversized handrail, 
offers an extremely safe environment for all your guests, especially children. Now let's turn around and turn our attention to the helm. Fully equipped with all the ship's systems, the entire dash has a built-in sliding cover that protects it from the sun's UVs. What makes her so easy to drive is that beautiful, oversized ship's wheel. A brilliant feature is how Horizon made conversational seating on both sides of the helm so the captain isn't stuck at the helm alone with the business in the front while there's a party in the back. Oh, and speaking of parties, enough said. And as is natural during a boat party or any social gathering, everyone tends to end up on the bow at one point or another. Lady G's bow is no exception to the rule because of her well thought out comfort and safety features. For comfort, note the forward bench seating and centralized sun pad. The wide sunken in walkways make it easy to move forward and around while the double railed stainless steel bow rail makes it safe to move about for guests of all ages. Thanks for spending so much time with me so far. If you've been enjoying the walkthrough around the exterior, I have a feeling you're really going to be impressed with the interior. Come on in and let me show you what understated elegance is all about. As previously mentioned in the 2019 refit, there were no soft goods that were left untouched. The coverings of the sofa, the valances, and the drapery, carpet included, all were replaced. The port side U-shaped sofa is yet another great gathering and conversation area. Adjacent is the custom bar and entertainment area with built-in ice maker, retractable television, and all of the china and glassware have custom fitted shelving with grooves and slots so nothing gets displaced while underway. If you've got a foodie in your crew, the Country Kitchen is what chef's dreams are made of. It features full-size stainless steel appliances, double sink, a large work counter, and a raised serving bar to get dishes out of the work area for finishing the presentation and then serving. As the chef is putting the finishing touches on their latest creation, your family and friends can be sitting in anticipation at the adjacent dining table while enjoying conversation and the waves of aromas coming out of the kitchen. And like everything else, it's been reupholstered as well. The lower helm is equally equipped as the upper. It, of course, has the added benefits of being protected from the elements, climate controlled, and within reaching distance of the full-size pantry where the Doritos are. From the lower helm, you can step down the curved staircase into the companionway that leads to Lady G's three stateroom, two head layout. Immediately to port, there's an over under bunk room. Then further forward, you'll find a centerline VIP queen. These two rooms share the starboard side head, which is finished with a dramatic piece of granite on the countertop and floor. Not to be outdone, the master stateroom is finished off with the finest of materials. Plus, it's equipped with luxury and comfort built in throughout. Note the starboard side settee, and over on the port side, for her, is a built-in vanity that is lit up with a pull-out stool and has natural light flowing in from just above overhead. Talk about your dramatic granite, here again, the master is second to none. Lady G's head features double sinks and vanity mirrors with medicine cabinets behind, and the stand-up shower features a full-size tub, something rarely found on a yacht this size. Now that we've gone through Lady G's softer side, allow me to show you where her heart beats. Her Caterpillar C18s have recently had the thousand hour service, which, like here, allow her to run at her wide open throttle of 26 knots, cool and efficiently.
If you want to hit the trifecta of boating by owning a one owner, low hour, highly maintained boat, call Greg with Denison Yachting now.